exam. Today's video is titled, New York Governor Declares Racism a Public Health Emergency. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. Yep, finally, y'all, New York at least gonna step up to the plate and declare racism a public health emergency, y'all. Finally, something specifically for black people, huh? Correction. They ain't say they was making a declaration for you. This for them. Let's read. New York Governor Kathy Hockill declares racism a public health emergency and specifically points to a surge in Asian hate crimes. Did you hear that, people? The Democrats actually know how to use the word specifically. They specifically pointed to a surge in Asian hate crimes. They actually know how to use the word specifically, but they'll never specifically use that shit in regards to black people. Do y'all understand why I urge y'all not to vote for the Democrats? Do y'all understand this bullshit by now? Or are you going to keep falling for their tricks, huh? Because you just have to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala look like you. You got to give them one more shot. Huh? But y'all, this uh, article come from the Daily Mail and it was, it was written by Andrea Blanco. But don't be confused, she ain't black at all, of course. And Daily Mail is a right wing uh, organization, we already know that. But pay attention to how they lay this out as we block talk break this shit down. Let's continue. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. New York Governor Kathy Hockey has declared racism a public health crisis after the state saw a surge in anti-Asian hate crimes during the pandemic. For far too long, communities of color in New York have been held back by systemic racism. Did you hear that? Systemic racism and inequitable treatment, Hockey said in a statement on December 23rd. Did y'all hear this bullshit, y'all? Do you see what people elect when they just vote blindly for Democrats? Do you see how quickly Democrats can act for other people? How they can have specifics when it comes to other people? And as you can tell, now I'm starting to get real upset like I usually do as I read these terrible articles by people like the Daily Mail. But anyway, y'all, after a surge, y'all, not a surge in murders, you know like how these young black men been dying dying with fucking skittles in their pocket all these grown black men and women been dying unarmed y'all after a surge in violence they writing all kind of laws and legislations but you the motherfuckers who voted them in and they can't do a damn thing about you not one damn thing about you all your treatment in america god damn it you see that shit on the screen on the screen right there y'all it says sadly the trend of the total police shootings in the united states seem to only be increasing with a total of 830 civilians having been shot y'all 241 who were black so out of 800 y'all 241 of them was black but these motherfuckers see a surge of a small surge during a pandemic and they writing all type of laws and legislations. Do y'all see that shit? As of November 2021, in 2020, there were 1,021 fatal police shootings, y'all. And in 2019, there were 999 Fatal shootings, fatal, not an uptick in fucking violence, y'all, not a surge in violence or no bullshit like that. You understand me? You understand me? This the bullshit that you vote for, but they can watch you be murdered and slain daily on TV, but they can see a little surge in anti-Asian violence and they write laws and legislation, Specifics, You know that shit we've been asking for? Specifics, y'all. Let's continue. 
The statement continued, I'm proud to sign legislation that addresses this crisis head on, addressing racism, expanding equity, and improving access for all. Hockey's legislation will specifically aim to address the rising discrimination Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders face during the pandemic. The governor said in a package that would also establish a working group to promote racial equity throughout the state of New York. Did you hear that, y'all? You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did you hear that, people? After a small uptick in violence, y'all, a small uptick in violence, and they ready to sign legislation. They about to address this crisis head on. Did you hear them? They about to start expanding equity and improving everything specifically for Asians. Did you hear that specifically? Now, how long you been in America? How long your grandma been in America? How long your grandpa been in America? How long your lineage go back in America? And how long has these people sat around and watch you be oppressed, suppressed, and every other press, and they never give a fuck about legislation, expanding nothing, or addressing nothing head on? Now, is it just me, goddammit? Is it just me? Am I just making this shit up? Or tell me why the fuck you still voting and playing this game for these people. Talking about you going to vote for the lesser of two evils. You will still get evil in the end. Fucking evil and evil light. You choosing evil light, but you still drinking fucking evil. Do y'all understand this? But y'all, we done watched our little boys be murdered. Trayvon Martin, they'll talk about when he smoked weed in the sixth grade before they put the criminal in jail, y'all. Before they put the criminal in jail, they'd rather show you a picture of him smoking weed or something. But I digress. Now, here go more of that little propaganda piece that I'm not going to read because it really just add up to this, goddammit. Legislation S.287- whatever declares racism a public health crisis, y'all. Remember, this is only after a surge, a uptick, goddammit. We ain't talking about murders, y'all. We ain't talking about slayings by cops, y'all. We talking about a uptick in violence y'all we talking about a small uptick in fucking violence let's continue y'all and that's the hate crimes analysis review act Ooh, they gonna review everything that way they can know when where and why something happened to asians they never tried to do this for you why are these cops murdering these black men and black women and black babies who are unarmed god damn it let's figure out when where why let's run a fucking analysis let's run an assessment you never hear none of that bullshit let's continue require legislation s.6 dash whatever more bullshit requires a collection of demographic data by state agencies boards departments and commissions so they about to gather all the departments up to figure this shit out y'all after a surge remember a fucking surge in attacks towards Asians, y'all. Not murders. Not murders by cops. Not slayings by cops, goddammit. We talking about an uptick in violence, y'all. A uptick in violence, y'all. Next. Legislation S dot whatever more bullshit requires an equity assessment to be filed with an application for any project that will affect a hospital's health care services. Wow, you know what the fuck all that bullshit mean put together, y'all? Because don't let them sit up there and, uh, you know, use all of these lame-ass words to trick you. All that bullshit mean is that they gonna compare the health care that's given to white people to the health care that's given to Asian people. Because fuck your black Democratic voting ass, goddammit. Do y'all understand that? They gonna sit up there and compare the health care given to white people which is the best health care on the motherfucking planet to the health care given to Asians because fuck your black democratic voting ass next S dot legislation whatever more bullshit y'all 
it requires the advisement, the advisement of the implementation of language translation technology, y'all. That means advisement, y'all. Let's just break it down. You know what advisement mean? They gonna carefully consider, y'all. The definition of advisement is to carefully consider, goddammit. So they gonna caref they gonna carefully consider putting language translation on fucking government programs. That will if you speak some foreign ass language and you go to uh get some welfare or get your social security or whatever man can we advise y'all can y'all carefully consider using a fucking i mean translating the shit for the person who don't speak the language you know that's what they doing they gonna consider putting that shit when you stop at the bus stop uh street ablo doses or whatever the fuck is gonna say but on to the next one before i digress legislation s dot some more bullshit which is which relates to the screening of newborns for certain diseases and conditions all that mean is that they about to screen your baby to make sure they ain't got some bullshit that they don't want over here trust me new, the united states of america does not give a fuck about your baby they screening your newborn to make sure your baby don't come over here with some bullshit in them god damn it but let's continue just in the Big Apple alone, the NYPD reported a 361% increase in anti-Asian hate crime since 2020, y'all. New York City reported 503 hate crimes in 2021 as of December 10, a staggering spike from 252 reported last year. More than 125 attacks were against Asians, a nearly five-fold increase from 28 attacks against Asians in 2020. Meanwhile, the nation has seen a 343% increase in hate crimes against Asians this year, y'all. Understand, y'all. We ain't talking about murders, bro. I understand black people. We being murdered in the street, goddamn it. Slain every day. But guess what the Democrats talking about, y'all? Guess what they talking about? But we talking about practice, man. We're not even talking about the game, the actual game, when it matters. We're talking about practice. Now let's block talk break that shit down because they think they so fucking slick just trying to throw all them numbers in there. I bet you was probably like, oh, you can't argue with that. That's a lot of hundreds right there. Talking about a staggering spike, y'all, a big time spike, y'all. 503 minus 252 gives us 251, y'all. Out of them 251, 125 attacks was Asians, y'all. 125 attacks was Asian. Wow, y'all. Wow, y'all. Which means they only had 28 attacks last year, y'all. In 2020, my bad, not last year. But in 2020, they only had 28 attacks. But they up there talking about a staggering spike. God damn it. A staggering spike after they fucking American president called the shit the disease from China. God damn it. Now they sitting up here trying to act like it's black people just attacking a Asians left and fucking right, huh? A staggering uptick, y'all, of 125. Only 125 of them was about motherfucking Asian people, God damn it. And we don't even know what the other ones was. Did y'all see how they said more than 125? More than, but they exact about everything else. Oh, we want the demographics of where this shit happening and everything. But when it come to counting how many of them been attacked, Oh, more than 125 and all of that bullshit. Get your silly ass out of here, bruh. Get your silly ass out of here, y'all. But matter of fact, before we get back to their dumbass propaganda piece, y'all, before we get back to their dumbass propaganda piece, let's go over another staggering spike, y'all. You are witnessing a rebel network. Let's go over to Statista, goddammit, for some more stats. Sadly, the trend of fatal police shootings in the United States seems to only be increasing, with a total of 830 civilians having been shot, 241 of whom were black. Do you hear that? 
We ain't talking about attack or none of that bullshit. We ain't talking about a violent crime, goddammit. We ain't talking about none of that. We talking about a fatal shooting, murder, goddammit, as of goddamn November 2021. Now, in 2020, there were 1,021 fatal police shootings, y'all. And in 2019, there were 999 shootings. Additionally, the rate of fatal police shootings among black Americans was much higher than any other ethnicity, goddammit, any other ethnicity, standing at 37 fatal shootings per million of the population as of 2021. Do you hear that bullshit? 37 shootings per million of the population, y'all. Do you hear that? Or is it just me making shit up? Or am I a fucking Russian bot, goddammit? Let's go to them stats. Did you hear that? Just in 2020, goddammit. Let me make sure. Yeah, 2020, 241, y'all. 241 of the shootings was black people. Not 125 attacks, goddammit. Not 100. 25 hate crimes god damn it but now it's time to put in some legislation huh? it's time to write legislation to figure out what's happening to other people while you getting murdered god damn it 37 shootings per million 37 murders per million 37 slayings per million god damn it and what the fuck the democrats talking about though we talking about practice man we're not even talking about the game, the actual game, when it matters. We're talking about practice. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Since people like statistics, we're going to go to some more statistics, goddammit. The Department of Justice right here. Go to the middle paragraph. We're going to start from there. Based on the data compiled by the FBI's Uniform Crime Reporting Program, it found that while black people make up 13% of the population, they were 33% of persons arrested for non Fatal violent crimes, y'all, which includes rape, robbery, aggravated assault, and other assaults. Did you hear that, people? Remember this. When you arrested, that does not mean you're convicted. That does not mean you are guilty right on the spot. They said those arrested, goddammit. They not going to disclose how many were convicted because just because a person was arrested does not mean that they are goddamn guilty. And you know what else they tell you that they over police your community 33 percent of them getting arrested god damn it but let's continue black people were 36 percent of those arrested for serious non-fatal violent crimes including rape robbery and aggravated assault um you see how that's a trick bag y'all if a crime does not result in a fatality, goddammit, then it's a non-fatal violent crime, y'all. There's no such thing as a serious non-fatal violent crime. If you didn't die, it's a non-fatal violent crime, goddammit. But, and check, check it out. Just in case you think I'm bullshitting, look at what came after that, y'all. It says, including rape robbery and aggravated assault but when they just not read off non-violent fatal crimes to you it included rape robbery and aggravated assault god damn it you see how they get down y'all y'all see how propaganda edward bernays joseph stalin get down y'all america god damn it let's continue similarly hispanics make up 18 percent of the united states population and were 21 percent of those arrested for serious non-violent fatal crimes so they just skipped all the way to serious non-violent fatal crimes instead of non-violent fatal crimes for them huh you see how they get down y'all a whole trick bag and oh they just done with hispanics god damn it after they done ran through all the inclusions of robbery and everything when they started off with blacks they done blew past hispanics y'all and now they go straight to whites in which they proceed in saying whites who are 60% of the 
population were 46 percent of persons arrested for non-fatal violent crimes oh they bought back non-fatal violent crimes and look y'all they still higher in percentage because they got not 39% of serious non-violent fatal crimes. Serious non-violent fatal crimes, y'all. You see, nothing but a trick bag with these people. Nothing but a trick bag. But pay attention to that, y'all. Still, overall, that tells you who really committing the fucking crimes because whites still got 46% of non-violent fatal crimes and they still got 39% of serious non-violent fatal crimes, which tops violent and non-violent serious fatal crimes or whatever the fuck they say. Y'all know what I'm saying, god damn it. They still top the arrest, y'all, over blacks and Hispanics. So when they tell you, it's black people, it's black people over there in New York, god damn it. It's black people doing that. No, it's 46% yo ass. It's 39% yo ass, god damn it. But let's get back to this garbage ass propaganda piece, god damn it. Just had to bring out them little statistics since they like to play with statistics around this bitch. But what they talk about though we talking about practice man we're not even talking about the game the actual game when it matters we're talking about practice your favorite channel favorite channel let's get back to this whack-ass propaganda piece almost 62 percent of all hate crimes are race-based according to the fbi with sexual orientation and gender identity being the next highest group to be targeted at 20 percent and 13 percent respectively our state is meant to be a beacon of diversity, equity, and inclusion, but without the tools to protect our marginalized communities, these words carry little truth behind them, Assemblymember Reyes said in a press release after Hockey's announcement. Senator Julia Salazar agreed that the data collection is pivotal in order to make a change for Asian communities for Asian communities as New York continues to face the devastation caused by COVID-19 public health crisis and all that other bullshit. But did you hear that, people? Did you hear that? Specifically for the Asians, y'all. They making show. Sure God damn it, that they catch every, you better not touch a goddamn Asian around here. They gonna make sure that they put your ass under the jail. This is after a spike, y'all, after a surge, y'all, after an uptick, y'all, in violent crimes, y'all. Not murders, y'all. Not slayings, not hangings, not little juveniles dying with a pack of Skittles in their fucking pocket, y'all. We talking about violent crimes, goddammit. Not murder. Not none of that shit, y'all. This is what they do for others. They write legislation immediately and they say they fucking name with it. They say it for the Asian community, goddammit. We gotta make sure that we do all the motherfucking data. You know, we collecting all this data to see what's popping with the Asian community. Even though me and you just went through the stats that black men and women and children are dying, one of their worst, at a more disproportionate rate than any other race on the motherfucking planet. Did you hear that, y'all? But let's continue as we wrap this bullshit up. You are witnessing the Rebel Network as we wrap this bullshit up. For the diverse Asian American and Pacific Island communities in New York, this cannot be accomplished without detailed data that recognizes and respects the experiences of the numerous groups that make up the AAPI community, she added. Did you hear that, y'all? They about to respect and recognize the experiences of groups who came to America, y'all. Groups who came to America on their own free will, but they don't respect shit about your experiences after they bought you here against your motherfucking will. 
They don't respect the experiences they put your ass through after they bought you here against your free will, but they could sit their stank ass up there and start signing legislation for everybody else. They about to look at equity and all kind of bullshit, even though they watched the cops murder your fucking children with Skittles, your fucking grandpa in his home, black female in a fucking home with her spouse and shit. They murdering us left and fucking right but these people can experience a few fucking attacks attacks y'all we ain't talking about no motherfucking murder we ain't talking about slayings or none of that y'all what the fuck we talking about y'all we talking about motherfucking violent crimes y'all violent crimes not murder not genocide none of the shit you been through god damn it but these people can get attacked for a few fucking months god damn it get attacked for a few months let's even call it a year and it can surpass everything your black ass done been through in america just so joe biden could sit up there and sign his crime bill because that's all this shit is meant to do y'all the niggers are out of control let's sign this fucking crime bill they attacking asians they doing smashing grabs and all of that this is designed by them if you believe in propaganda you're bad god damn it you don't think they plastering that shit on the local news and national news for a fucking reason god damn it that's how they drill it into your head have these old heads walking around here these niggas killing everybody done convinced they dumb ass immediately and some of y'all motherfuckers be young and believe them we be killing each other even though a nigga could run down some stats for your dumb ass run down some stats for you you still we gotta stop we killing each other we can't expect nobody else to care we killing each other so can i go inside of a fucking uh a impatient home with girls who cut themselves and because they cut themselves can i go stab one of them in their fucking heart Oh, well, they stabbing each other, fuck. Well, you can't expect me to not stab their ass. They stabbing each other. You stabbing yourself? I'm a, I, why can't I stab you? Because it's fucking wrong. So shut y'all stupid ass up. But you see this? They can hurry up and push y'all some equity for everybody else, huh? Equity, equality, everything. Asians about to get it all. Just from a fucking month of going through what you've been going through since you've been in America. And worse, goddammit. Worse treatment. Worse treatment than any other race on the fucking face of the planet Earth. But this is all for Joe Biden, y'all. So he could sign a new crime bill to lock niggas away. To lock niggas away, of course, y'all. That's the prediction. Uh, 94 2.0, goddammit. Once again, y'all holler at me. We talking about practice, man. We're not even talking about the game, the actual game, when it matters. We talking about practice.